Hello together. My name is Raymond and I am a Universal Windows Platform uh, application programmer and I will show you in this short video how to handle this uh, grid view selected item. Whenever you use a grid view uh, on standard as a standard UI element, element in uh, in UWP then you always have this problem that the selected item is uh, difficult to uh, to modify and I've I worked now for a while for a day searched where uh, how to deal that and finally I found it and that's what I want to present you now uh, because it's not that easy as you see here in the background we have this uh, small grid view it's a picture from my picture uh, uh, photo explorer I will call it photo explorer in uh, in my US as an app and here we have the selected item and uh, this modif is modified uh, whenever I select something uh, it gets another uh, different border and it's, it's, it's highlighted so how is this done this is done by uh, here it is. <clears throat> when we are in the uh, XAML file, uh, then we have here the uh, the grid view itself, and then you have to uh, insert insert uh, in the uh, element the style. Uh, so this is uh, when you have the closing tag of the grid view, you implement there or insert grid view. Um, dot item container style and then in there uh, go to the style of the grid view item and take the uh, property of the template excuse me and then uh, we open the setter value and in the setter value we have the control template so again okay, here's the like, like this control control Pa, pa, pa. template uh, here control template <clears throat> that's what you see there and of the target type grid view item so this is the template of all those small uh, tiles what you see which you see there and then we take inside the grid view item presenter that's important and when you have done this then it's quite easy to program you have uh, simply to uh, edit the uh, properties there so here we have for example the margin and then it's uh, IntelliSense uh, uh, I already checked out those versions so important is the content margin now we go to uh, we should start this now uh, it's the content margin is the border around the item we check that I'm not sure if we will see it <laughs> now gone and you are also able to um, to modify it by the uh, uh, selection changed event but I would like to show it to you here on your uh, on that stuff so uh, the border the content margin is this uh, the white border around the uh, the tile and then you have a margin and the margin I've set here uh, to minus two so it goes back otherwise it adds uh, it is added as a white border around the, the tile and I also choose the background <coughs> here here the background is uh, a light gray you, you won't see that it's a very light f f5 is nearly white border thickness uh, thickness is zero horizontal alignment well it does, doesn't matter what i also took here is the uh, i took up a little bit uh, the opacity from zero uh, from 1.0 to 1.9 so there's a uh, the screen shade and the red shade uh, of when when you click on there yeah and we have here the selected background that's important what happens if i when i select something 
Then the selected background is a little bit red. Uh, it's the it is red. The border it's outside is red, and uh, also the entire tile. Uh, you will we will see the the border more in red because uh, the uh, there is nothing behind there uh, outside, and we have the pointer over background uh, screen. And I think nothing else is uh, important. We have here the light yellow green, the selected point over background. If I come back to this element, so all you have to do there is you have in this case to modify those uh, properties of this block. And I will uh, take the block on uh, on my website. You can download it and implement it to your simply drop in this stuff select it item container style to item container style and drop it into the in your own grid view element and then modify uh, the, this stuff i first try to get uh, to get it done by uh, by the trigger but the trigger doesn't work on universal uh, platform apps and Instead of this big bunch here, you can also uh, go the simple way, which is uh, dropping in here this small block. Here it is. Uh, when we have this one, it's the same as here, but it's uh, more difficult to uh, to edit because it's not IntelliSense in this point. So that's better to if you implement this point and then you have the properties for implementation. What you also can do is you may follow here it is uh, now we what I do now is I disable all that stuff I comment, comment it out and then I have now uh, let's say here it is <coughs> I may follow here the thumbnails are this is my my control selection changed when i go to the selection changed and here i am able to say okay there's something happens okay loads of media and all that stuff but i say okay the grid view the selected item uh, as a grid view item it's a selected item. Uh, give me this it item as a grid view item, and then at this item I have the same properties which we saw in XAML, uh, and I may say this border thickness to uh, 10 and background and all that stuff with a border, and when we run this one, it works also quite good. But it has one disadvantage uh, when we have this one. We select it separately, and we have also to to get a this uh, selector unselect. So here is a little bit more work to do, but it works the same way, and it has also its uh, advantage if you need it. So this code is also on my uh, website, and you may download it and implement it in in your own uh, application. And if you like it, give me a. 